All right, welcome back to Games for Everybody. I am your host, Matt. So when we last left off of Final Fantasy VII, or sorry, VIII, <laughs> oh, got a bit of a weird brain today. Anyway, when we last left off of Final Fantasy VIII, we had defeated uh, Sorceress Idea, and she seemed to have like snapped out of some kind of trance. Like she uh, was asking if Eloni was safe, and she recognized us. So uh, let's keep going. Let's see what happens. This is the start of Disc Three. All right, so Squall's in bed in the garden again. Is it over? What happened? Renoa. Yeah, remember Renoa uh, was like grabbing Cypher and then like she just seemed weird and out of it. What happened to Renoa? Well, we'll certainly find out. All right, so we're in the... Uh, the infirmary and Renoa is lying in the hospital bed. Ooh, we're getting an announcement. It's Kistus. Squall, can you hear me? Head to Idea's house at once. The sorceress Idea, matron, is back at the orphanage. Hmm. Alright. Let's head out of here. So let's head back to the bridge. I'm gonna head up the elevator real quick. The garden seems to be back to normal, so that's good. Hopefully we didn't lose too many people. All right, the third floor. Kistas, Chu, and Nita are all here. Matron is back at that house. All right, let's uh, let's land the garden and check it out. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Zell and Selfie again. I like them. They're kind of my dream team. I think I need to heal them also real quick. I should have slept in my bed. Eh, I can do that in a little bit. There's not a whole lot of uh, battling that's gonna happen pretty soon, so. All right, so I've landed the garden. Let's head to the orphanage. It's just right here. Random encounter. Let's see if I can draw here or whatever I'm uh, fighting. Some weird jellyfish type monster. ailments are uh, no longer there, so... Alright, let's head, keep heading to the orphanage. Alright, so it's a rundown stone building with some pillars on either side, sort of like Greek, Greco-Roman type thing. Let's see, he's just an Irvine or here. I feel uncomfortable seeing her. There's so much we want to ask the matron. Yeah, I know, right? Alright, let's head into the orphanage. Yeah, it's real rundown. Oh, Sid's here. What's he gonna say if I talk to him? Many thanks for your hard work, eh? Huh. Are you angry with me? I don't blame you. All I do is talk big, but in times of trouble I run away. I was in a no-win situation. Your defeat would be the end of you. 
your victory would mean losing my wife. I just couldn't bear to face either outcome. I don't care about myself, but please forgive me, Dea. Alright, well, let's talk to her, shall we? She's over here with Sid. She's looking out at the beach, and the lighthouse is still there. My children, please forgive me. I raised you as my own, yet still I... We feel the same way. We fought you too, knowing you were our matron. Matron! You are seeds. You cannot back out of the battle, I know. You were magnificent. However, it is not over yet. At any time, I may... You may what? I, I have been possessed all this time. I was at the mercy of Sorceress Ultimacia. Ultimacia is a sorceress from the future, a sorceress many generations ahead of our time. Ultimacia's objective is to find Elone. She is after Elone's mysterious power. I knew Elone very well. Ultimacia is a very fearful sorceress. Her heart is filled with anger and hate. There was no way I was going to let Ultimacia get a hold of Elone. The only thing I could do was surrender my soul to Ultimacia and lose control of my mind. That was the only way I could save Elone. And the end result? Well, you all know. The sorceress that appeared in Galvadia was in fact Ultimacia inside my shell. Ultimacia has yet to achieve her goal. I believe she may use my body again to carry out her plans. I plan to make a stand this time, but if that does not work, I may have to face you in battle once again. I ask for your support, young seeds. Have you all heard of Sorceress Adele before? She was the ruler of Estar during the Sorceress War. No one knows of her whereabouts. That's what I learned. The Galvanians must have thought I was the Sorceress who received Sorceress Adele's powers. However, that is not the case. I received the powers of the previous, sor of the previous Sorceress in the Age of Five. So, what does that mean? I believe Sorceress Adele is still alive, and that Ultimacia released my body in order to... to use the body of Sorceress Adele. Sorceress Adele is the type who will not hesitate to use her powers for her own selfish desires. Should Sorceress Ultimacia from the future bequeath her anger and hatred unto Adele, their power would be unimaginable. So, oh, it's just the same thing again. Alright, so what's Ultimacia's goal other than finding a Uh Let's talk to my crew. They're not saying anything. Can I leave? Oh yeah. Squall, I'm sure Matron has much more to say. I've heard enough. I understand that listening to what Matron has to say is important, but Renoa. Matron, do you know what's wrong with Renoa? Renoa's the girl in light blue. I remember vaguely. What happened to her? She was with us when we fought you. After the battle, her body was cold. She didn't move. Did Renoa die? No. Forgive me, Squall. I don't think I can be of any help. It's all right. Squall, I understand how you feel, but you're in a position of leadership. The other students at Garden have a right to know what, ab about the outcome of the battle and what's to come. Take whatever information you can get here back to Garden. Remember, it wasn't just Renoa. Everyone fought. I understand, but... But, 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 that isn't something a leader should say, eh? Squall just punched the wall. Damn it. Ultimacia's objective is to find Elone. The first time we met was the day I became a seed. We met again in Timber. Elone's mysterious power... This is like conversation going back and forth between Squall's monologue and uh, everyone else. Elone's mysterious power, sending one's consciousness back into the past. So Ultimacia wants to use Elone's power, right? And the reason I'm using my own voice is because it's not saying who's talking. We had a lot of arguments at first, but in time things began to change. I get it. Ultimacia wants to send her consciousness from this period further into the past. What's she gonna do in the past? You were looking at me. You smiled when her eyes met. Time compression. Time compression? It made me feel calm, tranquil. It's time magic. 
past, present, and future get compressed. What's gonna happen to the world? Why do something like that? Renoa, give me another chance. I can't even imagine a world where time is compressed. Yo, Squall! You're not even listening! So basically all we have to do is prevent Ultima Sia from getting a hold of Alone. Yes, but... We're going back to Garden. We have to let everyone know. Hey, we're worried about Renoa too, you know? Then why don't you... Forget it. Just fade it out. Squall's probably gonna brood in his bed again. No? No, he's on the bridge. That about covers the update. Our task at hand is to find Ohlone, then we'll deal with Ultima Sia. I believe that Ohlone is on the White Seed ship. We're setting out to look for it. I wonder where it could be. We'll gather information for a while and be prepared to battle at any time. And Sorceress Day is back at her home. She's probably not our enemy anymore. Let's just leave her alone. I think I have a new GF conjunction. That's right, Alexander. It's a giant, like, machine that... It's like a cross between a knight and a machine. So it's some big metal robot, uh, but it's got, like, iron plating, and it looks, you know, almost like a, like old medieval knight armor. And uh, he shoots holy magic beams out of his... Um, uh, just out of his apparatus, if you want to call it that. So let's see. Four times elemental defense, yes please. There's also a revive spell that he has, that's pretty excellent. Who do I want to junction that to? Let's see, so Squall has four GFs. Zell has three. Oh, no, not Irvine. Selfie has three, so I'll, I'll just give her to Selfie. Or, I'll give him to Selfie, I should say. Keep everything else the same. Alright, let's set out. So I gotta find that white seed ship. Zell and Selfie. I'm gonna have them just be my characters for now, or from now on, because honestly, they're they're my favorite. They're the best. Squall and Zell have the best limit breaks, and Selfie has that cure all spell. Um, and whatever, once you junction enough stuff, everybody's the same anyway. So let's look for this white seed ship. It's somewhere around this area. It's like, it's really hard to find because it's in some little bit of a cranny, so I may actually stop the video to look for it, but if I find it real quick, I may not do that, but I'll give a once around, and if I don't find it, then I will uh, stop.
Oh, it's Timber Maniacs. It just gives me bonus content if I go to school's desk back at the garden. Alright. Back inside the garden. Let's go see Renoa at the infirmary. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. If that doesn't work out, then I'm just gonna save and do this next time. head down on it. Oh, it's time for Laguna. Okay, then. Um... Yep, time for Laguna flashback. Alright, so Laguna, Kairos, and Ward are in civilian clothes, and they are on top of what looks like a snowy mountain. Why the heck do I have to do this? Because uh, we have no money. Yeah, uh, so Ward doesn't talk anymore, so I'm just going to grunt whenever he uh, does, like, the little dot 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 for his dialogue. All right, I'm sorry. Yeah, so it's kind of my fault that we stayed at the hotel so often. But heck, I'm not out, I'm not cut out to be an actor. So you say, but we know you're really quite excited. Okay, everyone, take your positions. Man, I can't believe this director making a movie with me, an amateur. The heck am I supposed to do? All right, all right, so we were lucky I got the job. As long as we make some money, right? Are you serious? What kind of costume is this? Ah, <laughs> no complaining. Let's go, let's go, let's go. He's dressed like a knight, and he's got a gun blade, so the director's here. Hey, look at you, not bad. This is your co-star playing the part of the sorceress. Hi, nice to meet you. And there's a lady in a dress with a red shawl. All we need now is someone to play the dragon. Oh, Kairos and Ward are walking up. Oh, perfect. Hey, uh, you two back there. Yeah? I'm kind of in a squeeze here. The guy playing the dragon is sick. Do you think you could put on the dragon costume and just walk down here? I'll pay ya. I, I guess so. Kairos and Ward nodded to each other, so they're going to get the costume. Okay, just be on standby over there. The director's got a, like, a camera over his arm. Laguna's walking away. And you know what? We'll do this little movie scene in the next episode. Oh, there's a roaring sound. Kairos just screamed. Uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens in the next episode, you guys. <laughs>